I don't have deck lists uh, from this event, but a lot of the players who do play on stream and, and, and at our local events here in New York are in our Discord and are usually happy to uh, share deck ideas and their latest list with everybody. So make sure you join the Discord if you're not in the Discord, if that's something you'd be interested in. Links are down below. All right, so a fetch of Basic Island, Vesuva Cloud Post for Dominic, and looks like another big mana start for Dominic. Brainstorm here for Ronald. All right, I'm threatening someone in the background with <laughs> with the deck check. Whenever somebody plays a card that I, I don't think I really like, I tell them I'm going to ask for a deck check. <laughs> Pithing Needle. Uh, yep, turns off. Narset is uh, what? two copies of Pithing All right, another Needle on Narset. So Narset seems to be the card that uh, Dominic is choosing to go after over to Ferry. Any Cloud Post players watching? Let me know what you think about that. What would you name? Cracking Scalding Tarn. Minus target, nothing, and pass. Here's Titan that gets forced easy. That's an easy force of will. Don't even have to think about that one. You uh, lose half round it up or something? Yeah, lose nine. Go. Prismatic ending on the Reclaimer on end step. Teferi allowed for that. Four. Still there in that step. Five. So, three. Fuck. My turn? Yep. It is still good. Is this the wrong one? Um, yeah. Pondage? Sure. Yep. Could have a day's undoing happening shortly. Let's see. Doesn't look like there's one in hand for Ronald, though. Fetching f with Flooded Strand. Looks like there was a source of plowshares in hand. Maybe a brainstorm. Digging here for, um, pr uh, for day's undoing, it seems. Doesn't look like one was drawn. Dress down was drawn though. Dress down does not stop the cast abilities from Ulamog, I don't believe. Coco, thanks for the follow. Welcome. It does if you do it preemptively. Um, 
Yeah, I don't I don't think it affects a cast trigger. Um Stormy Fall is supposed to make the same amount or only one. One, one right? But now yeah. these all tap for Yeah. Fire. I was just trying to remember. That one just the game of life. Yeah. Whether it's in play before it's cast or not. Coca says, hello, I've watched some of your vids on YouTube. Glad to catch the channel live. Love Paper Legacy. Awesome to hear. Glad to have you here. I love Paper Legacy as well. I love it so much, I made a whole channel about it. <laughs> I made a whole channel. Did all this work. Awesome when our YouTube viewers catch us live, though, here on Twitch. In Roku, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Source of plowshares on the reclamation stage. So that's gone. There is Narset. It is shut off, though. Needle is on Narset. Um. Minusing Teferi, targeting Needle, turning on Narset, drawing a card, activating Narset now. Seems like Ronald's digging for this day's undoing. I might have just seen one there. Nope. Gets a ponder. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Tall Eric is in the background. We'll see Tall Eric later on stream. We have uh, at least one round with Eric coming up. There's the day's undoing. First. Yeah, so I assumed it was I only made one, but because this is a replacement effect, I actually make seven. I know it depends on the turn. You might if we call yeah, over. Yeah, you can, you can ask Kevin. Kevin. Okay, so this came up on last week's stream, or the week before, I can't remember. The interaction between Days Undoing, Narset, and Hole Breacher. And I think where we left off with this when, when we were all watching was that Narset stops only the first draw, but because a, a card is never physically drawn, Hull Breacher just creates seven tokens. And it looks like the live chat currently watching agrees. So let's see what happens with the judge call. Draws apparently, apparently he, does, he never draws. It's a replacement. So Narset doesn't know. Instead of drawing. All right. The judge, Kevin, helping out here. Let's see what the ruling is. Stream and I was like, that makes one thousand percent sense. So. I, I, I heard the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I always thought it was one card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I literally thought it was one card the entire time. And okay, so the, we we kind of resolved it together. I was sitting off to the side and we were all talking about it. Uh. <laughs> he says you get seven tokens and the judge says that sucks, man. <laughs> it does suck. <laughs> So there you go. You get your seven tokens. And the judge says that sucks. Crop rotation sacrificing snow forest here. I'm going to grab I Lugan. Yeah. And what do I have? I don't know if I have. These have four, eight, 12, 13, 14. That's unfortunate. I go to five. Mm -hmm. for you. Sounds like we're one mana short for Emrakul. We're running against uh, Saga Dex. Yeah. yeah. Have you tried it? I have not. I've been sure of it with lands, but. Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah, normally you have no way to interact with exploration that's really right. Yep. Narset minus. Brainstorm. 
And attacking with Hole Breacher. Seems like Ronald is ahead here, but with the Eye of Ugin and an unbelievable amount of mana available for Dominic, this could get ugly fast. So he kind of has to hurry up and win the game. Let's see what happens. Shark Typhoon. One, two, three, four. Cast Narset. Sharp. Trigger. All right, going to start pumping out sharks now using three treasures to cast a Narset. Replacing the old Narset. There's a shark. Ronald with the correct shark token as well. We all appreciate that. We appreciate that, right, chat? Chat appreciates it, I promise. Source of plowshares. Looks like three to fairies in hand. All right, we're activating Eye of Ugin. Grab Emrakul. Mm -hmm. Going for Emrakul. Soupy, thanks for the follow. Welcome. <laughs> Siege Wino, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Siege Wino. Four, eight, twelve. Because he's all tapped for four. Mm -hmm. nice. It resolves. I can't counter it. Okay, you can, I, I'm gonna get dressed, <laughs> dressed down into the sword. I guess you do that later. Okay, I'm also gonna cast a. Uh, um. Uh, the gain on the mic for the recording. Either way, I'm, I'm looking at some new audio options for um, recording at, at events, like what we're watching right now. And I, th I think we're going to see some improvements on that soon. Uh, the, the challenge I've created for myself is that any setup I use for covering events needs to be able to fit in my backpack. Um, that's just, that's just been the challenge. Trying to have a very mobile setup. And I think I found some new equipment I like. Anyway. The spirit tokens are sharks. I think we ran out of official shark tokens there. Siege Wino says, I love me some paper coverage and I'm just getting back into Legacy after a long time. Awesome. Good to hear. And Cloud says, where is this located? This is in New York City. This is at Game Storia in New York City. In Queens. Another shark. Just using spirit tokens. I love those spirit tokens, by the way. Alright, so Emrakul attacking here. We see a Dark Depths on the battlefield for Dominic. It does have 10 ice counters on it. I will try this. He's already down, just sort of okay. pondering. Yeah, so there, there's weekly legacy on Monday evenings at Game Storia, and then there are monthly weekend events, which are uh, competitive REL. Yep. 
correct you ran out of correct tokens. Yep. Oh, full right. grip. Um, okay, I'll pass to you. So Ronald trying to figure out how to beat an Emrakul here and whatever other the cloud whatever other Eldrazi the Cloud Post player has in store. It's going to be tough. It can be done, but it's going to be tough. Shark Typhoon makes it somewhat possible. Minusing Narsa. Looks like a prismatic ending and a brainstorm are the options. Takes the brainstorm. Thinking about Teferi. Casts the brainstorm. Trigger, make a shark. Looks like hmm. Chase the Mind Sculptor was drawn there. The Wandering Emperor. The Wandering Emperor can potentially remove Emrakul, can't it? Maybe Ronald is digging for that. It can only with a dress down. Oh, what's the exact what's the exact text on Emrakul? Hold on. I thought it said colored spells. Am I going crazy? Protection from colored spells. So yeah, you can you can hit it with a Teferi or an, a Wandering Emperor. So Wandering Emperor would be a good find. It it looks like. Okay, so we're digging for Wandering Emperor, possibly. Yeah, I'm gonna, sorry. I'm gonna the it's in his hand? Okay. Grab, uh, I didn't see the Wandering Emperor in hand. Uh, okay. Finds Ulamog off the top, which is terrific. I'm sure uh, mm -hmm. Ronald is thrilled about that. Yeah, let's see if we go for Marrow Lidge here. Jace, the Mind Sculptor, discarded a hand size, it looks like. Did not go for Marrow Lidge. Oh, that's not a stage. That's not a stage. Here's Ulamog choosing the targets. Shark Typhoon into Fairy, that makes sense. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Up to So it makes a 5 5 shark with force of will, countering Ulamog. So now the uh, shark typhoon and Teferi are going to go away, it seems. I don't know how you would stop that. All right, we're just gonna create a couple of, couple of sharks before it before it all goes down. Casting a ponder at instant speed. So they're all those are all sharks on the battlefield right now. All those tokens are sharks. The spirits and the and the sharks are all sharks. So there's one five five and three one ones. Target a shark. Oh, you're a shark. Target the shark in response. Target the shark. So I make one more. Okay, that's that fine. My okay. drop a turn yep. two. So I get one more. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right, because you went first. Okay, so a whole bunch of plays in response to the Ulamog trigger to create sharks and and all that. So there must not be a Wandering Emperor in hand, otherwise Ronald would likely hold up mana for that. Exodition map cast and then activated. Yeah. 
Okay, Minifer thinks there still is a Wandering Emperor in hand. The second plow targeted the same shark that the first plow targeted. Caracas is GG. Looks like Glimmer Post was found by the map. Yeah, I lost track of how many were untapped for Ronald, but it might have just been three. Seems possible. Glimmer post. Uh, and I'm going to swing in with Emrakul. Uh, Annihilator is six. Yeah, stress down response. Yeah, sorry. Force of the What? Who are you swinging at? Oh, um, at you. Hold that. Yeah, I don't know what that die is next to the phone in the, in the top left. But I think all the treasures were sacked already. I think Thunder is right. Okay, sacked a bunch of permanents and all that fun stuff. No, I did it. Yeah. It's fine, you wanna take it back. No, that's okay. Okay, so you have no, nothing. Okay, um, and then I'm gonna cast a Gamer. Mm -hmm. And pass to you. Cracking Prismatic Vista. Get to planes. All right, so there was the Wandering Emperor. It w did remove Emrakul. And so these have for five. It's seven to search, right? Yeah. So five, seven to search. Grab. Oh, it's in my ear. Oh, no. Shit, I don't know. Germs, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Seems an error may have been made here by Dominic. I'm not sure. Aaron plays. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. It draws me four cards. So. Oh, yeah. All right. There's Kozilek. You just draw four, and when he goes to the It's graveyard. Annihilator. Yeah, when he goes to the graveyard. Oh my god, no, Ulamog would have been so good here too. Oh, oh yeah, hey, hey, you already Ulamog me. I know. I, I dealt with him. God, I know. I wish he had that shot. I dealt. I dealt with him full attacking me twice. You have survived a, the whole the whole draw. Holy crap. Yeah. 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 He attacked me with. He had the hard cast a shark type boot, which helped. He attacked me with Emrakul twice. I got rid of it with the Emperor. I exiled. I, I countered his Ulamog. Yeah, you Sorry. lost. After this one's not counter. You yeah. lost 14 <laughs> permanents to, uh, to the Ultimazes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna. Still going, right? The players appear to be having fun. The players appear to be having some fun. All right, there's the treasure token. Already indicating four treasures. Can't draw because of Hull Breacher. But Kozilek is on the table. No. There's Source of Plowshares on Kozilek. Is Ronald going to win this game? That, that would be incredible, honestly. Boosts Hull Breacher and attacks for four. Plays a Flood Strand, now Hellbent and passes. Copying. Copying. Yes. I'm shook. You've dealt with all my Eldrazi's. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Copying Cavern, naming Giant. Okay, done. Yeah, fast to you. Dark Depths is still on the table. We haven't heard anything about Dark Depths in a while. Yep. Minus, just make a Samurai. Yep. Attack for three. 
Um, okay. Go ahead. During your end step, I'm gonna, with my Thespian stage, I'm gonna copy uh, Dark Depths. Okay. And I'm gonna grab Merit Lace, and these two go to the yard. So. Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keep. Okay. <laughs> Untap. Uh, hate to see it draw. Hate to see it. Um, my you, you, you yep. don't know. Hit you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a sweet cyborg. Wow, Merit Lage gets there in the end. Fought off Emrakul, fought off Ulamog, fought off Kozilek, and got killed by Merit Lage. What a game. Wow. That was a good game, chat. You got you to gotta admit, that was a good one. He did have a stage, yes. All right, we're moving into game two. Dominic up a game. That was game one. Marit Lage got there in the end after fighting off all three Eldrazi Titans. Uh, once upon a time. Dave Kaplan is here. What's up, Dave Kaplan? Thanks for sharing our coffee page. If you check the links down below, you'll see our coffee page. It's similar to Patreon. Become a one-time sponsor or become a monthly member. Big way to support the show. Appreciate that, everybody. Click the link in the live chat if you're watching live. Jageller says, thank you for doing these streams. They are magic. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here, hanging out. Source of Plowshares takes care of the Reclaimer. Art Tarouz, thanks for the follow, welcome. New donation from Dave Kaplan. Thank you, Dave Kaplan. What's up, Dave, we missed you this week. Thanks for supporting. <clears throat> Sharkling uh, Shark Typhoon. Not making a shark, just, just trying to cycle through. Let's see if this reclaimer lasts on the table. Thank you for uh, you go first? looking out for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Gentleman of Scholar, I've always said that. Yeah. Teferi bounces the reclaimer. Draws a card. No cloud posts yet. For Dominic. Reclaimer. Yep. Vesuva copying. Um, I'm gonna copy Forest. Sure. Okay. 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 Plusing to Ferry. Scalding Tarn, past turn. I don't know if Ronald has ruinations and stuff like that in the in the sideboard. But those are the kind of cards that, as we were talking about earlier, are important to resolve for the Jeskai deck in this kind of matchup. Carpet of Flowers, being cast, and we're seeing a Brainstorm in response. The Merit Lage is not in play, that's just off to the side. Rise from the Ashes is another one, yes. Back to basics, as we talked about earlier. Some decks choose to run cards like Blood Moon. Um, you have... Uh, from the Ashes, yeah, from the Ashes. What did I say before? Thank you, MTG Banning. One card in right? Yeah. One card. Uh, yep. It's a one two, right? It's, yeah, it's a one two. And you're stay one two. From the ashes, basically just ghost quarters, all non basics in play. Here's Hull Breacher on end step. Founder badge, MTG Banning says, as a lands player, I am well aware of it. Speaking about from the ashes, yeah, card's good. If you're playing a lot of non basics, Better watch out for From the Ashes and Ruination in, in the current format. 
Reclaimer sacrificing the Vesuva, which was a forest. Um, um yes. Cavern turn, naming giant. Okay. No, it's white. Oh, that's what I was going to say. You got me. Uh, so just to make life easier, during your draw step, you're going to draw a card, right? First source. Yes. Oh my god. So wait, so I'm going to attack though, right? Like, all right? Yeah. Good draw? Yeah. So, uh, okay, so I untap, I move to draw. Yeah. Draw step, draw a card. Yep. Cast days of this. Sure. I am undone. Okay. And it's my yard too, right? Yep. God, I hate that fucking interaction. <laughs> okay. Uh, lowering volume for language. But the uh, day is undoing, resolving here at instant speed during draw step. Hull breacher stopping the draws for Dominic. So basically we'll have no cars in hand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I'll find a cavern in hand. I'm gonna sack the cavern. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, you know what? A reminder to everybody watching, whether you're watching live on Twitch or later on YouTube, we have a TCG player affiliate link down below. Please bookmark it in your browser. And when you're going to shop, just use our affiliate link. No additional cost to you. We get a tiny kickback on every purchase that you make using that link. And it's doing a, it, it's doing a great deal of uh, help to keeping this channel afloat. So thank you, everybody, that's been doing it. Just find a link, bookmark it in your browser, save it for later. Appreciate it. I already did that. What's that? Uh, yeah, I already did that. Uh, I, did that. I went from oh, sorry. No, nine to seven. My bad. Yeah, it's all good. Um, we'll still play play this and and wizard. Island should not untap? I'm not sure what you mean. Past team, because you know I'm bringing in more uh, counter magic against you. Yeah, so. but that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to move too far. God damn it. I just want to bring in. Yes. Did the days in doing get shuffled back into the library? That I missed as well. I don't know if the exile pile is off screen. Here's Shark Typhoon. Ledgeview calling a flag on the play. Yeah, I think, I think the rewindability destroyed the stream earlier. <laughs> uh, we'll we'll have to figure out another solution for that because I just the the first round of the stream for those of you that now are here from it, we had catastrophic technical difficulties and had to end the round. And uh, 16 people unsubscribed because of that. They were so angry at me. Alrighty. God, I can't. Oh, uh, Marvel. Sack the cavern. Uh, uh, um. Name Goblin. All right. Going to game three. Seems like Days Undoing was mistakenly shuffled back in there. Sorry about the error. <laughs> yeah, this is, my, this is my evil twin now. Pico, thanks for the follow. What's up, Bacon Man? 
MTG Banding says, how many times have we been warned about the impact of time travel? Yeah, I say from now on, we're going to avoid all time traveling on stream. It's just too much risk. All right, so Needle. What, basically the one that gains life doesn't go in time. Um, no, Clone Girl's not going to in time. It only ever makes one man. The first one. Yep. Miss what Needle was on, but likely on Teferi this time. Oh, right, there's only two turns, so then the following turn, I can force you to be. Next step, I'm going to copy. I was hoping you would copy the Foster Storm, but I think it would have been wrong for you to do that. I could pretty easily play around Foster Storm. Yeah. Yeah, Foster Storm is not enough protection. I didn't put that in. Basic forest. Needle cannot name treasure, as far as I know, because it's not a card name. Am I right on that, chat? Even if you have Fluster Storm, my Fluster Storm trumps that. So if you have two forces, or whatever it is, Fluster Storm is going to win. Yes, but also no, says Alan Delvergo. Also, Pith and Needle doesn't stop mana abilities, and Treasure only has a mana ability. So even if you could, that would be kind of pointless. But cards that collect or oof work. No rod. Uh, yeah, Treasure tokens are not cards, exactly. And Needle must name cards. If, if he does have protection for the bolt, I can just and stuff. I can just cycle out. But this gets me every time. Maybe I did have another cycle because that pile was just a stack of cyclers. But like, what you can do is if if they point Dominic. Worried about days undoing here. Hull Breacher is in play. So is Primeval Titan. All right, Primeval Titan is taken care of. Attacking for three. And there's a days undoing. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize the uh, interaction with blood tokens. That's pretty interesting. Either way, the Pithy Needle doesn't stop mana ability, so Treasure would work just fine regardless. Days Undoing resolving here. Seven treasures have been created. Rocking my 90s magic spicy emote tee. I know a lot of people like my t-shirt. All right, drawing up seven is Ronald and probably passing the turn because the turn ended. <laughs> By days undoing. <laughs> thespian stage for Dominic. Just a thespian stage. These are all cloud so, posts. So, so. Um, yeah, kind of fits with the aesthetic. Sir. Yeah, hell yeah. This. <laughs> No, 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 no. I was debating about I need a more uh, One mana floating. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I did this. One mana. Oh, wait, did I not? Oh, I have one floating. Okay. I did do that right. I have 15 total mana, so I'll be able to. Uh, I mean, you can cast it anyways. It's eight mana. Yeah, I know, I know. I only saw seven here, but I have one floating. Uh, this is only eight mana. Yeah, but I only had seven floating when I untapped one. This is eight mana. Yeah, I know. I know. This is eight mana. No, this this one doesn't tap. This one taps. Oh, oh my god. god. I keep confusing that one with the other one. Oh, oh, if, I, if that one tapped for uh, for four, I thought you had sixteen. Yeah, I'd be jamming Emrakul right now if I could. Um. Okay, so you don't. Have the players appear to be having some level of fun so that's good chris do you have any thoughts on den of the bug beer bug bearer in legacy goblins i'm enjoying it a lot in pioneer i i don't think it's uh worth including in legacy goblins personally 
Um, just a lot of better things to be doing, even with your lands. I'd, I would probably just rather have a basic mountain. The strongest thing against not those guys is always the trying to figure out like, not even the timing of it, but the uh, you can't find that plus. Until once the so, battery gets close to us. All right, people are saying Pioneer is so hot right now. Are people enjoying Pioneer? Anybody watching right uh, right now playing any Pioneer? Yeah, mana base is already stretched, exactly. Okay. All right, doing the thing with treasure tokens and Shark Typhoon again. So there's a 1-1 Shark represented by that spirit token. Makes another shark. Ulama gone. Force of Will pitching Shark Typhoon on the Carpet of Flowers, making a 5-5 five, five shark. Having two Shark Typhoons in play would have been pretty cool for Ronald, but now down on lands. Has three treasures left, but I guess that it seemed more worth it to counter the counter, counter the Carpet of Flowers to stop Emrakul. Now attacking for seven. See a Dazen doing in hand for Ronald, but no Narset or Holbreacher in play currently. That may have just been time in the round, and that die on the number nine on Dominic's board may represent turns. Tutored for Emrakul now. And copying Cloud Post with Thespian Stage on end step, which should allow for enough mana. Turn one. Yes, yeah, turn one. I draw for turn. So you have the token that he gave you? If he does removal as well, he's tapped for five. I have a picture of the token of fortune. I sent it to you and I said no. Tap three of them. Which one? Cast. No, I see. Is this like a magic artist? I mean, how brutal in extra turns to take an extra turn on your opponent. <laughs> it's just. That's just mean. I work. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And this was. Masuva copying Glimmer Post. Activating Eye of Ugin now. Uh, yeah. 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 We'll see if this Caracas gets used here in extra turns. Getting Kozilek. This is close. A lot closer for, and in reach for Dominic to win the match than, than Ronald currently, I believe. Could end in a draw? We're going to find out. Turn two belongs to Dominic now, taking an extra turn. Which again, just feels mean to take an extra turn during extra turns. Drawing four cards off the Kozilek trigger. Map. Do you use Caracas before combat on this Emrakul chat? What do you do? 
What's the play? Okay, so now Dominic has a Caracas. Ooh, Wandering Emperor is in hand for Ronald, though. And today's undoing. Wandering Emperor can take out Emrakul. The Marilage is not in play, that's just a token off to the side. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move to combat. You're gonna bounce him. All right. Emrakul gets bounced before combat. Yeah, he used Wandering Emperor to kill Emrakul in game one. We saw that happen. Green Sun Zenith. It's Titan, which now finds Glimmer Post and. Cavern of Souls. Names Eldrazi with Cavern of Souls. About to be turn four now. Move to combat, swing in. Prime time. I don't know how to, you know, there's a lot of things to play. Hmm. Gaining a lot of life. Wandering Emperor coming down and creating a shark and using the Wandering Emperor to exile prime time. Then I'm also gonna cast. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm not talking the exact amount, but I have enough to end Crosslick. So I'm gonna draw four damage. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I take my extra turn with. And the last turn will now belong to Dominic. Let's see what happens here. Has Kozilek and Emrakul both unchecked? Ronald does have a lot of permanence. Has three treasures. One, two, three, four sharks. I don't think Dominic's going to be attacking a planeswalker here. Finds walking ballista now. Uh oh. I thought that only searches for Azrazi. Nope, it's colorless. Colorless creatures. Okay. Age tap for how much? They age tap for nine. Ooh, the cloud posts all tap for nine. Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-nine. 29, 30, 39, 40. I mean, do you have a counter for I have 40 mana? Of course. Yeah. Wow, Walking Ballista gets there, everybody. What an incredible last five turns of the game. Emrakul and Kozilek didn't even have to attack.